Hey, vintage radio fans and uh, shortwave and communication receiver fans. Hope all is well. Uh, have picked up a few new subscribers uh, over the last few weeks and uh, getting close to 300 subscribers right now. So, wanted to thank everyone for uh, signing on board and enjoying my videos. You might be asking yourself, what the hell is this thing and why is he showing it? Uh, people who know Hallicrafters radios might know exactly what this is. And this is the uh, lock knob uh, for the band spread and tuning uh, transmission on a Hallicrafters SX42. This is the original one that was on my dad's um, from 1946. And uh, yesterday morning, I was looking for uh, my uh, grandfather's cufflinks uh, to wear on a uh, business appointment. I found them in my uh, scrimshaw container on, on my bureau. And uh, what did I find in there uh, but this knob, which I've had stored away for almost 20 years. Flip it around, and I'll show you why. Um, during the move to my house uh, almost 18 years ago, this knob was broken off uh, the SX42. You can see that is actually the end piece um, to the uh, tuning shaft. Um, the piece had broken off, but it's threaded. And I'm, I'm not going to unthread it here, but you can see um, it's pot metal. And uh, when I had this radio restored, and we'll take the dust cover off here. When I had the radio restored, uh, the gentleman who did the work had asked me um, if that shaft was in one piece. I didn't know. And um, when he looked at it, uh, he realized that this had broken off. Long story short, um, you can see here, um, this, for whatever reason, uh, has a very shiny finish, and it has that little decal that says lock on it. This is the same exact part, only it's more of a, I would say, a true pot metal. This has a much shinier finish. Um, I... I had the darndest time trying to find someone who sold that part. And I was able to locate a gentleman online, and he also sells these decals, which this originally had a decal on it that said lock. You can see right there, lock and the direction. And what that's supposed to do, you're only supposed to move this knob to engage and disengage band spread tuning. And you turn it in one direction, and that would be clockwise. So a new shaft was remanufactured, and that was put on. But now I have a spare. And what I think I'm going to do with this spare is bring it to a machine shop or someone who does fabrication and I think I'm gonna make I'm gonna have this part made and maybe even provide it for people who need this part if you want to restore an SX 42 the way it should be restored and to do it right you need to have that screw or that lock and, you know, certainly I'll unthread the piece of that shaft and uh, have them match the threadings, but I think I'm going to have some of them uh, fabricated. So, that is the story of the SX42 dial lock, and this has been hidden away for uh, almost two decades, but now it's back home and as weird as it sounds it has sentimental value it was the first knob that went on here 
This is my father's radio. He gave it to me. Well, he bought it brand new at age 15. He gave it to me when I turned 15. So I am going to keep this. I have an extra one of those uh, lock decals. I might even put it on here uh, after I have these fabricated. But I think I'm going to have them fabricated and, and sell them to people who uh, need them. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was helpful. Hope you love your SX42. I, I certainly love this machine. Um, it's my all-time favorite radio. And if you need one of these, I might have some help on the way. Um, I think I am going to have them fabricated. So take care for now. Uh, happy DXing.